many years ago, when the uh, when the Stone Age men helped Robin Hood fight the Egyptians in York. See, don't trust my history. It's terrible. Many years ago, I bought a narrowboat. I went had some hair then. And now I ain't gone here. It's all gone from narrowboating. Why don't you join me? Why don't you come along? Put your feet up and then put the kettle on. Two sugars, please. Um, I've cruised for like two and a half hours. Wow, what a great day. It's red hot now. It's red hot. Oh, lovely. It's mama and babies, look. First babies of the year. Hello, mama and baby. I try not to feed them, if I can help it. Oh, you're tight, you are. Bread's no good for them. People don't realise that. I know they love bread. Everything loves bread, doesn't it? Everything loves bread. Fish, birds, uh, all the animals. That's amazing, isn't it? That song was amazing. Mate, what do you think of that bird call? So you got your beach towel up, ready for your beach, haven't you? What do you mean you could do it better than that? No way! I'm not listening to you, mate, not again. Remember last time the neighbours complained? Alright, you carry on listening to your bird then. You can't do any better, I know you can't. Been here for a night. Uh, lovely and quiet and peaceful, it's dried nice. Uh, now it's time to set this lock. It's a deep one, this is. It's a deep lock. You have a look. Well, it's half full, so... It's very deep on this one. I have to get outside, I think. I'm just going down to there, to the pontoon, to get some water. This is uh, Linton Lock Moorings. You can... You can pay six pounds a night to stay here, but that one there is for the water only for an hour. And look how shallow it is there, look, all the way across there. You've got to go right round. It's very, very low, the river, very low. Look at these, for, look at these, look. Open them with this, look. Mm, you got to wind them open. Oh, fabulous. I love these, and just in the background there, you can see the church spire. It was red hot, but now it's turned nippy. The wind. I think it's been about, it's been about ten minutes. It's just that bit of the witness mark there, lot. A bit more to go. It's not a quick process. This big deep lot, though. Hundreds of thousands of gallons, you know. Or maybe a hundred thousand gallons. Maybe I don't know. Who knows? Huh? <laughs> Who knows? I've got there in the end. 15 minutes, could be 10. Feels like a long time, doesn't it? All right, that's that. Let's get going. Oh, I love this boat. Starts first time every time this does. Come on, baby, here we go. Oh, you what? What's a rip off? You always start till you say it, don't they? Oh. All right then, let's get into that lock, shall we? loose down before I empty it. There we are. Let's close this one down. Let's see it lovely. These are fantastic these ones. I've just got to pull these pull these lock 
top right or something. It's tight, there you go. That opens the sluices. The lowers, you can see it's quite a drop down there. It's not it's not chicken feed these locks. Water out slowly to one sluice, I think. Wow, only two hands for this. Down we go, very slowly. Of course, you've got the pub here, and they serve really nice food. Chuck of potatoes, that kind of stuff. Lovely. See it sinking slowly, winding the rope off. Next to my rope, you can see the old wear marks from previous hundreds of ropes you know you can see the connecting rod attached directly to the sluice very simple very ingenious and it works as long as you grease it wind this and it opens the gate lots of the gears there So slowly. This will take me 30 minutes to do this. It's not a quick process. It'll take your time. You know, so slowly. And it shuts again. Which is easier than opening it. All I've got to do now is try and get on there. <laughs> Not very far, is it? <laughs> no. Look at the ladder. There we are, we're away now. Back on the river again. Come on, baby, get over. What I've got to do now is close the gate go back up you can see the this Archimedes screw creating energy which makes perfect sense doesn't it fascinating isn't it you should have these all over the place hundreds of them you know I don't know what they do in winter when it floods I don't know you know what they're talking about floods you are I know I know it's a fact of uh, river life you know taking me it's going to take me all of an hour now to do this lot so I'm going to have a cup of coffee and then crack on look at the corner window so they could see without having to get up and run to the window to see who's coming just sit in the window and watch for the boats charge them and log them in I suppose wow Maureen's camper place here and everything here great place Linton Lock Conservation Project. Linton Lock was built by the well known civil engineer John Smeaton in 1767 under powers granted by an act of 1767 to provide a navigable between Ripon, York, and Humber Estuary. Since that time, the navigation of the lock would be no longer managed by Linton Lock Commissions. Navigation was constructed to carry out agricultural products from the Vale of York to the Humber Estuary for our breath. <coughs> it was very successful for many years since the turn of the century. Since the turn of the century, the level of traffic has been steadily declined to the extent that toll income became non existent. In order to maintain the income, the Commission has obtained powers charged for pleasure boats using the lock 
that since the 1950s they have fought to keep the lock open to give access up and down the river and thank god they did because i have such a such a wonderful time up here such a beautiful area up here it really is most favorite place in the whole of the country is up yorkshire area beautiful on the rivers I've yet to do more so I'll see no we're not full yet so I think it's time for me to put the kettle on and get my uh, charity shop jacket because it's getting a bit nippy and get a coffee going lovely I'm really chuffed with that I keep saying it don't I I didn't go over the lines did I anything wow and the boat was rocking and everything I could me up pat myself on the back mm, that's selfish you are mm, you're full of yourself uh, well, someone's got to say it, haven't they? Hey? Eh? It's now 11 o'clock. Uh, got my water. It should be about a three. I've got a snack just in case. It should be about a three hour journey down to York. Let's do it, shall we? Let's do it, Rips. Right, here we go now. Trent's like here, like there's all these sandbars going across. See what I mean about dangers on the river. If you're not used to rivers, just go wide on these corners and go wide on, the, on turning the left. You go on the other side, on the other side, you know. So you've got to remember, within reason, of course, you know what I mean? Don't go wide if there's a sandbar there. The law of the river. No mates, you like me. It's alright mate, you'll be fine. So I'm really sorry about the wind. <clears throat> Not my wind. The wind on the on the on the field anyway. Um I, I bought a beautiful microphone, really posh, my cost me cost me about 40 quid. Um, but I had to download the app and now when I record with it, it's all glitchy. Oh, it's never Nothing ever works as it should do, does it? Could more there, I suppose, and then closed on Mondays. Let's go there Monday and so I'm waiting for the pub to open to stay there for a couple of days, couldn't you? Oh, cheeky. Oh, is that even right? Well, whatever. What's right and wrong, eh? Wonderful renovated house again. If you're watching this and you live there, can you let us know if it is renovated or if it's a pumping station still? I don't know. It can't be a pumping station. Imagine going up to the top lot and looking out over the top, sitting up there, talking to your friends and looking around the heights. Oh, none of you! Hello, oh, darling, how are you doing? Ah. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty terrible view of people, isn't it? Oh, darling! I was like, saying that, I met a bunch of people who come inside of my boat and they're all smashed off their trolleys. Champers. Oh, give them some champers. That's what it said to me. Give the man some champers because I let me use my toilet. I think I might have told you, I'm not sure. Look, must, must come to the races. Must. I didn't go because I turned around in, in a huff, didn't I? Oh, never mind. Well, that beautiful morning has turned into quite a windy, nippy day. Mandarin ducks. I'm sure this is the mandarins, he told me. Oh, they just keep flying off. They're selfish, aren't they? Taking off and landing. Just let me pass. Oh, yeah, look, see? They fly in front, probably in for a game, aren't they? And they land. And they land down there, look. And they take off again. Oh, come on, lad, sort yourselves out. Grow a pair. That big walking thing coming down like a whale, isn't it? Big narrowboat. He's having a good time, isn't he, look, eh? That dog's having a good time. <laughs> He's loving it. Look how that tree's blown over. Took all the earth with it. 
We're still growing a lot, still clinging on. They're not fucking taking me, no, you're not taking me, no. I'm gonna carry on growing, whatever it takes. You're not taking me. You're not hiding behind there, aren't you? Hey? When you're filming, when you're filming for vlogs, you're best off just staying in one position. Oh, it's hot. What? Oh, one, one position, and then look at full. Oh, and just stay where you are. Oh, what is he? Ah, oh, eh? Hey? Oh, he's like a commoner, isn't he? I was bragging about his shirt and his top again. Look, oh, not again. I told him everybody. You've told them all already. Oh, get a grip on yourself. Yeah, and your hats from cheap as well. I know. We all know you're a cheapskate. Yeah, you got you got dandruff, or is it no? It's a cheap shirt. Wow! Look at this as well. Look, I'm looking out for a summer hide. Beautiful, very Romanesque, isn't it? Some people are just oozing wealth, aren't they? Just, just that boat just passed us, it's about a million quid's worth. Incredible. It's sitting there, it's massive that boat was, you just you can't tell the size of it until you pass it. I'm going to get to York, I'm going to stay in York for a couple of days, I want to visit the... Um, I want to visit the Railway Museum. Uh, watch Robbie Cummings uh, go there on his vlog. So I really want to see that beautiful machines apparently it's free um, I'm gonna have a good look around York as well you know last time I just sort of flitted around and went shopping and that was it and I got off to uh, Ripon but the Ripon trip's gonna have to go next year I suppose the year after I don't know such a long way to go to get there you know you can't get into Ripon oh never mind let's go again won't we Both railways, I think it's returning it's one way and another way you see, both both railway. Eleven. And it's now 12.40 so almost in York so it's a couple of hours isn't it to get there cruising at 1400 rpm probably four five knots let's have a look what do you think yeah about walking pace is it fast walking pace about a fast walking pace. I think it's about nine miles, you know, 20 minutes in the car. And uh, so, you know, nice, calm, one boat journey, past one boat. Fabulous, really. But it is, I'm cold, my hands are cold. Looks like there's some kind of little scooter there, doesn't it? Like a pit bike or something. Ah, uh, like a tiny little thing. It is a little scooter. Yeah. Put the engines on it still, so it's still wheels, discs on it. Ooh, salvageable, so the stands on it. Look at the colour of that tree there, Lord. That's beautiful. Tell you're in York, look when you get the uh, got the tour boats going up and down there. Look, there's nothing stopping you mooring somewhere like this, is there? Really, that nice little embankment there, and then walking into York. You know what I mean? It's a thought, isn't it? You get your spikes out. No footfall. No walking past your boat. No looking through your window. 
this mooring. I'm literally I'm just a few hundred yards from the city centre. It's just down there. Uh, I've got this grassy knoll, got the spikes in, and I haven't got the you haven't got the rowers down here, you haven't got all the uh, you haven't got all the uh, boat trips going past. But you can still pop into York. Fabulous. I'll try it for a night, see how I get on. We've got the grass on that side, which is uh, the end of the world. We've got the view out the window here, look. Oh, lovely, eh? It's just all the rowers and uh, all the uh, little hire boats that come up, you know, that uh, can be a nuisance because your boat just bangs against the side with the waves. I don't mind them. Fair play. Just, it's just, you know, it's my own personal choice just to more away from the ebb and flow of the crowds. Right, so two and a half hours and then probably an hour doing that lock and getting water, you know. So three and a half hours, I think I've earned some lunch. Let's do it, shall we? I'm just above where these boats turn. See how noisy it is when you're trying to edit. These are quite noisy, these people coming past. Which is fine, it's completely fine. I'm not moaning. It's just that, you know, you've got to find a quieter spot. There's trains as well, very, very noisy trains. Can't quite edit and talk over why you've uh, got all this stuff going off outside, you know. Oh, do it night time then. No, I'll do it when I feel like it. It's a nice property there, isn't it? Look at that. Blimey, who can afford to live in a house like that? In York. Millions probably. Beautiful, isn't it? Interesting. Got these floodgates on these properties. Uh -huh. See that? 